All right, you guys, I just dropped Emily off at school and I am heading back home. But on my way, I figured I would drive past the house where I grew up. I do this from time to time. I don't know why. Happy memories, I guess. This four-way stop sign is horrendous. All right, let's see. Is this person gonna go? All right, now it's my turn. There used to be a pool back there. Now it's like a, uh, looks like a parking lot. It's like public pools are no longer the in thing. Uh, kids don't go to them. I guess, you know, they're not really affordable anymore. Some towns still have them. All right, so here I am, Poplar Street, good old Poplar Street. Let's see. You guys always yell at me for videoing and driving, uh, but I drove a manual shift for like probably about seven or eight years. So I'm used to driving with one hand. It's so weird coming down through here. I used to walk uh, to the track at Academy Park like every day from my house to just uh, jog the track. Uh, and it was such a pretty neighborhood. I'm not saying it's not pretty now, but it was a little bit different, a little bit prettier. It's not really a dig. Some people keep really good care of their houses, but um, it was really, you know, let's face it, the people of the 50s, the generation that were born in the 30s and 40s, don't, they're pretty much gone. There's Kelly's little corner deli where I used to get my penny candy. Um, the older people kept really good care of their house. Like on the weekends, that was what they did. They, uh, they worked on their house. You know? And there's where I lived. There's where I grew up. Back there in the yard, that's a tree I planted. It was literally in a little tin coffee can. Uh, it was super small. And I put the coffee can and everything else like in the ground. And I got you, buddy. People are, people are assholes. I don't know what they're doing over here. Train tracks used to cut through here. It's a little playground. Used to go sledding on this hill. It's a great place to sled. There's old century paint. I'm surprised it's still open. Uh, pretty much polluted the creek down here. Mill Street. I think there was an old mill. It used to make bras. This is Pine Street. I used to walk down here to get to school. Let's see. Personal. And here's Pine Street. Apparently they took out the old bridge up there, so you can't go over the bridge. But there she is. And there's my old tree. Let's get down here. I used to fly down here on my bike and uh, get up a lot of speed and get down this little hill. It was really neat. Woo! I was just saying I could drive. And then there's a stop sign to keep you from going fast in your car.
actually dreamt about this street last night. I used to fly up and down these streets on my bike. All right, you can see my house. Oh, and there's Kelly's again. I remember walking down there. Oh, it's such a cute little place. Like I said, it's not a bad neighborhood by any means. Um, although it is ranked, I think, the second worst place to live in the nation, Sharon Hill. Darby's the first. I think. I have to check. It's pretty sad. But, um,. Just back in the day, the old people used to take, you know, really good care of their stuff. You could, like, literally look how far out that jackass came out. You could, uh, like, eat off their backyard. I think having the street all torn up like this doesn't help for making the town look bad. But. That is our tour of the area where I grew up. There's more to it than that. There's like a, let me slow down up here. That's Academy Park. I used to go over to the track over here and I used to, uh, I used to jog on the track. They had a nice track and it was close, close enough to my home. I don't know why everybody's sitting at this green light. This is something I've only experienced in this area as people sit at green lights. And all these buildings over here are now social services social 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 services buildings uh, they used to actually be um, buildings where you could uh, they have batting cages and stuff trampoline parks before they were trampoline parks This grocery outlet up here on the right used to be the Acme. Used to get in down there and get our groceries. And there used to be Johnny's Pizza and a bowling alley and a bunch of other things. I used to take the kids to this park when they were little. Emily remembered on our way here. She was like, I remember when you used to take me to that park. Right there. I don't know if you guys remember, but Wash and Lube used to be Seven Stars Chinese. And from what I heard, I don't know if it's true, the Board of Health found cats in their freezer. 7-Eleven, I remember the Slurpee, um, when it first came out, I guess it was like 1983, I think. And I remember getting my first Slurpee there. I actually just passed my doctor. I still go to a doctor down here. another thing with this area there's like a thousand lights too many lights it's like one after the other but 
it's weird when you go home and you don't feel like you're home anymore. Like you go to where you grew up and you don't feel like it's home anymore. Like because it's changed so much. Swiss Farm, Leo Steaks, that Star Auto Dealership used to be a uh, Dairy Queen and my friend and I, Julia, used to go there and uh, I remember she first got her license and we would go over there and get Dairy Queen. We would get, uh, oh, what the heck are they called, blizzards. and. Um, that's like when they had Dennis the Menace as their advertising person. I don't know if you guys remember that. They had a whole campaign with Dennis the Menace. All right, you guys. I guess I'll end it here. There's not much more, you know, interesting stuff. But I kind of like to film where I grew up because... Eventually, I'm going to move out of this area completely. I'd actually like to get out of the state, but I'm going to get out of here, and this is my way of going back. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.